Hello and welcome to the Queen Slayer. It's your girl, the Mad Queen. This is going to be another video that will be added into my beginner's playlist. So if you are mid-game or in-game, this video is probably not going to be for you. But if you want to keep watching and add on to anything that you think I might miss, that would also be great. This is really going to be a very basic gear cleansing guide. Um, along with also what you should be keeping as far as your gear goes. I'm not going to be able to show you exactly, um, visually, step by step everything. I'm going to do my best because I just don't have that kind of gear on my account because I am more late game. But I'm going to go through and show you what you need to be doing to sort out your gear if you are a new player. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll go click my bag and really keep in mind this is for beginners and Whenever you're getting past this stage or past this point and you're starting to get better gear than what I'm getting what I'm getting ready to talk about or discuss here, take a look at my basic gear guide cleanse, which is just going to be a step up from this and it's going to be more so targeted to players that are in that mid game range. So, we'll go ahead, we're in our bag and we and we click on gear and then click on recycle. As a beginner, you do not want to keep any items, and honestly, this goes all the way to end game. It doesn't matter, so it's good to go ahead and get into this now, and um, that way it doesn't become a problem. But never keep any common or rare gear. So the common is going to be gray, and the rare is going to be green, as you can see here. The reason for this is because um, let me just pick up one of these pieces and, and take a look at it. This is an elite piece of gear, so it's blue. You see up here for the weapon, the main stat is going to be attack. And down here is what we call substats. Okay, substats are very, very important and crucial um, for helping you get just a little bit farther along because they can help boost your stats just a little bit. It's not quite as important for the beginning of the game though. But common and rare items, okay, so the common, which are gray, those will not have any substats, which is why you don't want to keep those. And the rare items, which are green, are only going to have one, which is why you don't want to keep those but you can keep anything that is elite or above which brings me to my next thing even as a beginner do not keep an upgrade one to two star items or three star items okay the only time that you should be actually upgrading these is if the game is asking you to do this as a request so that you can complete some kind of challenge or something along those lines. That's the only time. You don't need to upgrade three star gear. And the reason why is because you come into having or being able to acquire four star gear pretty quickly. And that's whenever you can actually start to upgrade, to upgrade your gear. With the three star gear, of course, you're going to need to equip some of that gear onto your heroes to be able to progress um, a little bit farther, but you don't actually need to upgrade it. It's going to be fine, just bare naked, unupgraded. So whenever you're getting to that four star gear right here, that's whenever you're going to be able to start actually using your gold and upgrading. So keep your gold. Do not spend gold, do not spend any of your gear charms or upgrading resources at all unless the game is requiring you to um, until you get to four star gear. When you get here, you can take items up to 12. Do not take them any farther than 12 ever. Never, never, ever take a four star item up to 15. But, Whenever you get to five star gear, as long as it's good, then that's when you can start taking things to 15 uh, as, as well as six star. But whenever you're getting into those five and six star pieces, that's whenever you're going to really start taking a look at those substats. 
I'm not going to really get into that a ton within this video because this is really supposed to be very basic and easy to understand for beginners and people that are really just starting out the game. So if you're getting close to passing this point or if you are a beginner now and whenever you do get to this point, look out for my basic guide on what gear to keep. And then I'm also going to, I'm also going to be releasing an advanced um, gear cleanse as well. So there's gonna be a stage for every level you're at in the game. It's just, it's really different at each stage that you're in in the game, so it's hard to have an overall because it's not like that. You have to play the game for where you're at within the game. So basically, don't upgrade anything below four stars, and it doesn't matter if it's four, five, or six stars, don't keep anything that's gray or green as far as gear goes. Doesn't matter how many stars it is. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will do my best to get to you, and I usually do. It just might take me a couple of days, and uh, I'll answer your questions. Also, if you're a beginner, which you probably are if you're watching this, join my Discord community. I have a large ACE community within there, and you're welcome to ask people questions, to learn from them, because we post pretty frequent, we post pretty, we post there pretty frequently. I can't talk yet again. Um, so join us there. I'll leave the link for that in the description. And if you're looking for a guild for beginners, I actually have a guild. It's not the one that I'm currently in on this account. It's called the Queen's Watch. It's spelled just like this, except for where Lair is, it's Watch, and it's a capital. Anybody is welcome. It does not matter what level you are, so feel free to apply. We would love to have you in there. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's the Mad Queen, and I'll catch you in the next video.